Now, going over to Turkey, the president of the Turkish Football Federation, the TFF, Nihat Ozdemir, has announced that the Turkish Super League will resume play on the 12th of June, with all football activities in the country having been suspended on March 18 due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, Turkey had been one of the last European countries to call a halt to sporting action, with the vast majority of governing bodies having already put a stop to their respective competitions in an attempt to limit the spread of COVID-19. And it seems that Turkey could end up being the nation to have been without football for the shortest amount of time, with moves now being taken by the TFF to resume play as early as mid-June. Now we have Pascal, a sports consultant who is in Istanbul, Turkey, uh, joining us this morning. Good to have you with us, Pascal. Hello, Doka. How are you doing this morning? Very well, very well. I learned it's about 11.52 over there in Turkey. Yeah, you're correct. Mm. All right, I've been holding up over there due to this whole uh, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, it's been a struggle for everyone. Uh, it's not something we have been used to, uh, but I can tell you uh, it's something we can fight and I know we can win at the end of the day. Mm. Now bring us up to speed. What exactly is happening in Turkey? They were the last, or rather they were one of the last few clubs in Europe to put a, put a stop to their football league. And it looks like they're in the first set of category of football leagues now to resume play. Bring us up to speed with what's happening over there. Uh, first of all, uh, we know that sporting activities in Turkey are stopped at uh, uh, March 19th. Yeah. And uh, at this point in time, on, on Wednesday, uh, the Turkish Football Federation uh, chairman, after having a meeting with the uh, health board, you know, they mm. came out to tell us that the Super League will be starting off uh, from 12th of June. Uh, the first division, which is the TFF uh, League, also kicking off uh, the 19th of June. Then all the leagues, you know, the other levels picking up from the 18th of July. Oh. Uh, it's been a struggle for everyone. Uh, last month, some teams partially resumed uh, training, and uh, some also kicked off fully last week and also earlier in the week. Uh, it was also uh, very good to see most of the players back to the field of play as we saw them taking pictures, uh, joking around. It was surely a good one to see that and uh, to know that football is coming back uh, very, very uh, soon. Uh, but looking at what uh, the news hitting me this morning about a Galatasaray official uh, testing positive for the novel virus, uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, this morning, which has uh, made Galatasaray to come up with an official statement telling, every, uh, telling its staff and players that they'll be surely going on a six-days break. Mm. Well, look, still talking about that now with the development, do you really think that football, the Turkish Football League, are they ready to have football being... Uh, have football return to Turkey because Germany they look like they are ready for the league and we are good to go. But Turkey are they really ready to restart football? Okay, quickly give you the statistic here. Uh, Turkey have recorded uh, 4,007 virus linked deaths and more than 104,000 recoveries, and we have also had uh, 104,749 confirmed cases. Uh, I can tell you from that statistic, it shows that they are really fighting uh, very well, and I believe that by next month. Uh, things should surely clear up uh, for uh, the footballers should, uh, to get back uh, to the field of play. At this point in time, most teams want to know whether their teams will be uh, relegating or their teams uh, will be promoting. That's what they want to know at this point in time. So I, I know that uh, Turkey will surely get back, uh, uh, it's, rather its club will surely get back to the field of play. And as you know, Turkey is to host uh, the UEFA Champions League fight, final, uh, which was meant to happen this month of May. Uh, but we heard that we are, are considering the month of August. So I can tell you that Turkey is ready for anything football. Mm. Now let's talk about the Nigerian players over there in Turkey. Um, any update from any one of them? Um, nothing much. As we know that Henry Onyekuru uh, plays with Galatasaray, and uh, we know that uh, the news that I earlier told you, uh, they've surely gone on a six days break because of an official uh, who tested positive, and also the man who gained you on Nazi, who plays for the Nizli Sport. He's also back to training. He's been working out. We've been seeing him on social media, posting and updating us. And uh, Super Eagles defender Shehu Abdullahi, uh, who plays in the uh, TFF League One uh, for Brussels Sport, Sport, is also uh, back to the field. No problem, no issues. I think these three players are like uh, the key ones. And also uh, Olari Waju Kayode, or Larry Kayode, who plays for uh, Gaziantep Sport, is also another individual who's been. Uh, putting up videos and telling us that yes, it's surely going out well with him out there. And we can't wait, can't wait uh, to go back to the field of play. Oh. Well, thank you very much, Pascal, for speaking with us this morning. Thank you very much, Luca. And continue to stay safe.
Okay, thank you very much.